Okay, so I've gone on to the internet. I'm not logged in as anyone, so it's as if I was a child who can't log into Chrome. Um, I've gone into settings and made sure the bookmark bar is visible, but there isn't anything on there yet. So I'd ask them to go to a new tab and just go to search. And I want them to look for, in fact, a uh, new tab. They can go to the Chrome Web Store and they can put in Pixar, so P I X might come up straight away. Pixar, there's two there's the Pixar Editor and the Pixar Express. I'm going to get both of them, All right? This is an, an app that they're adding now. When it comes, there it is. We're just going to, oh, it says sign in to add. Right, let's try an extension then instead. Right, the editor, so we're just going to add it to Chrome. So it'll add. So it's going to appear, there it is, it's appeared up there. Same for the uh, Express. So let's see if we can get that one as well. It's usually a little picture of a ladybird. Yes, there it is. We'll add that one as well. Add. So they've now got these two extensions there. Okay. Right, so just let me drag that along a little bit so that it appears. Right, what they're going to do now then is they are going to just go to Google and they're going to go to Drive where they will sign in. So I'm just going to sign in. So I'm going to sign in as me initially. Right, Gmail.com It takes me into here and I'm just going to create a blank document. We'll call it image. Okay. Alright, so open a new tab and they're going to go to search and they're going to go to an image search and they are going to search for, uh, I'll just put Roman soldiers. Um, Roman soldier. There he is, a Roman soldier. Once he's come up, we can choose an image. So if I chose this one, okay, I can right click on it and copy the image URL. If I now open the Pixar editor, I can open an image from the URL. So I can then paste in that URL and say OK. And there it is. What I want to do now is to crop it. So I'm just going to crop it like that. Double click in the center. I'm going to add a little bit of text. And by clicking on the A, I'm just going to click there. I'll just write soldier. And black's fine, that font is fine, you can change the size and everything, but that's fine, and say OK. It's in layers, so I've got this layer, that layer, then I can click the grab handle and I could move the text around if I wanted, but it's actually OK there. Once it's complete, you go File, and Save, give it a title, Soldier. can choose the format. I'm going to stick with JPEG for now and the quality. You can then decide to save it to your computer or save it to your Picasso album. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to log in with Google. It's going to link to my Google account which is the one I signed in as. I'm going to say allow and I say OK. What it's doing now is saving that picture to my Picasso album. We'll just see how long it takes to do it. Now once it's done that I can go back to Google. I wonder if it's because it's a JPEG. Let's try just making it into a... Uh, let's try making it into a, uh, a PNG which is transparent. We'll say OK. So that's any quicker. Nope, it's taking its time. Go back to the image, insert, 
um, image and I should be able to go this time to my albums and it would have gone into, I've only got one album in there so that's why it's gone into there right that's one I did previously which it went into really fast this one seems to be really slow the other alternative of course is to save it to your computer to the desktop there we'll just call it untitled go save oh image saved so it's just done it, it took a long time there alright so when I go here now I'll just close that and refresh it insert image no, it's, it hasn't. It's saved it to the desktop. So if it does it to the album, then you just directly take it from the CAS album. Or just upload. Choose that one that I've just chucked onto the desktop. It does it pretty quickly anyway. And it's there, but in the cropped version, plus the text added to it.